Hello, welcome back. In the last lecture, uh, we have uh, we, we discussed about the prerequisites, and then we have already met all the prerequisites, all right? And now in this video, I'm going to show you how to provision a load generator. Provisioning of load generator consists of three steps. The first step is you have to configure authentication setting. That means that means like you know whenever we have, this is our control uh, this is our controller okay and somewhere here on the cloud we have a, a instance a amazon uh, ec2 instance or instance is just simply a machine right machine with all load load runner and everything installed and configured so you need to communicate between the controller and ec2 using an ssl protocol and that is why we need to configure authentication setting. Recall that we have already created two certificate as the part of our prerequisite steps. Okay, As part of this create certificate process, we have already created two certificates. One is CS cert and CA private. Now here we are going to in now in now now in the configuration authentication setting step we need to ensure that we install those certificates so that we can have a secure communication between the controller and load generator. So let's go to the controller and go to tools and then you will see authentication setting. So here what you give, you give the second option here that generate a certificate automatically and then you give the common name as a load runner because whenever I run this run this run this program i have given the common name as a load runner okay and then what then i give the ca private key and the ca private key should have been available on when you run that program right so you have the ca private key and what you need to do here you need to say that these are the, these are the things and you say okay right so that key is successfully applied and so step one is done. Next step is that we want to add the virtual account that we recall that we said that you need to create an access key. The reason behind creating an access key is to say to, to give all those uh, all those access so that load runner controller can do things on your behalf. Okay. And to do that, go to tools, go to manage cloud account and here I'm going to add a new account. Let's say the account name is SSS. Okay. And then here I have to give the access key and secret. And access key was this is my access key. And then I have the pass, I have the secret key. Let's give both of them. right and add new okay so now it is authenticating and looks like it is is done now and let's do okay right and then you go to uh, go to uh, the load generators and here now they add from cloud and what you do you they provision the new a new load generator and it will ask you which account to choose I want to choose SSS because this is the account that I've just created right now and then how many load generator you want to provision just give one and also it's going to give you more options and more options are include like on which region the machine that you are going to have the way Amazon AWS work is that they have data center across the globe and then they have machines available in all those locations okay so for example we have if you if you if you look at this we have a we have a data center in Ireland we have a data center in Sydney in Sao Paulo and North, Northern Virginia. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to choose the region for me US East, Northern Virginia. Then instance type is that what kind of machine that I need. I need a micro or a big machine or whatever. I'm just going to go for a micro machine. And then it is going to give me what kind of operating system that I need to have. Should I need to start with a Windows or a Ubuntu? So right now I'm going to start with the Windows. Okay. Then it will ask me for the security group that I need to associate it with. Recall that we need the security group because we want to open up the port 54345. 
right we need to open up this port 54345 and that is why we have created a security group and that security group was load runner okay so therefore what I'm going to do here I'm going to choose here at the security group as load runner all right and then it will ask me the key pair remember that we, I have created a key pair and that key pair was and that key pair was LR underscore key so therefore I'm going to choose here key pair as LR underscore key okay and with this if I do provision now okay so it is going to going to start an operation and in that operation so the, the controller is going to communicate with Amazon AWS and it's going to provision a machine for you notice right now in my Amazon EC2 dashboard if I go to instances I do not have anything right now okay so now look the moment I give I make it okay is going to start something the first thing is the in progress and now if I go to my Amazon AWS I'm going to refresh this thing I should see something is going on here so what is happening right now the moment I hit the provision button controller is going to talk to the AWS services and th and and how it will talk to the AWS services it will talk to the AWS services using my account information notice that I have given the account information through the access keys okay so therefore controller is talking to AWS and is saying that go to this in the Virginia data center you start a server and it's already started a server and the server is running okay and in this server what happens load runner software is installed and a load runner agent is running on that port 54345 right and now if I go back to my controller you should say the 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 status is going to change from in progress to down okay so when I saw that so when it's going to change from in progress to down then I, I I'll say that it is ready right now okay it will take some time but in due course it is going to be down okay and and this is how you basically gen, you know you, you basically uh, set up a, a load this is how you set up a load generator on Amazon AWS on AWS all right and notice that I just said one machine I can just spawn 50 machines like that just in a one click okay now if you compare you know you know having your own lab machine installing those things how tedious are those okay whereas all these things automated so nicely and integrated so nicely that you just can do everything just in a couple of mouse click all right notice that whenever you are doing this thing right now your Amazon AWS is going to charge you okay Amazon AWS is going to charge you money because right now you are renting a machine on EC2 so once you are done your test okay so once you are done your test make sure that you shut down the you terminate the AWS instance and also sometime you know after the test is done if you configure in the in, in the in the load uh, if you configure it in the controller then controller can also shut it down but it makes sense to check yourself going to the AWS dashboard and shutting it down so this is how you learn how to set up a load generator using AWS.